Hello mga kabox! Kung ikaw ay bago pa lamang sa ating channel, ay natin naman ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago videos. Ngunit marami salamat at enjoy sa kanan ng mga. Protect yourself at all times. What I say, you must obey. Good luck, Bruno Suarte. Touch him up. Breathtaking moment of suspense. It took a long time to clear a crowded ring. Many believe that Margarito will try to jump Cotto from the beginning and use his bigger, stronger body. Margarito has never lost to a shorter man. That took again. Margarito coming forward behind the jab. Margarito, so he's not as flashy, but his jab is still very effective. Good left hand by Cotto. Both fighters have had some offensive moments. Cotto simultaneously. Flurry by Cotto. But putting space on the left uppercut for Margarito. We see what may have been the cleanest punches with the whole round. Even though there's a lot of punches were so on the right hand and left hand, right between the gloves by Cotto, I think. Margarito 12 out of 57. Cotto 32 out of 70. That's a the stunning round statistical round. That's the round I saw. I thought Cotto most boxing experts expected the first round, but even if he has to pick Margarito. Because Cotto is a much better boxer, much faster, much more crisp puncher. But what's going to happen after about four or five rounds is. Well. Margarito only throws 57 punches. That's a slow round for him. Cotto. The trauma here is also Margarito is such a good puncher, and Cotto has been on the canvas and rocked before. Now Margarito gets the space he wants and, and smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Kenny Bayless says, watch your heads. They're like Cotto's one, but Margarito has really put a lot of pressure on him. Oh, not getting his own head. And pressure from a taller fight is different than from a shorter fight. Margarito still landed an excellent right hand about 10 seconds ago. See, Margarito is starting to develop the volume which has typified his career. Cotto pounding him. Both fighters have said hello in round two. Margarito handling Cotto who good left hooks upstairs. Margarito drives him back with a right hand. Unbelievable. They took a round to warm up. This is the fight that everyone expected to see. Indeed. Well, Margarito's made his mark in terms of strong blood. And the Mexican fans in the crowd love that. Cotto it's a punch, counter punch, confrontation. What a round, round two is that. Here you see Cotto landing beautiful clean shots. He's landing most of the clean effective punches. Fighting off the ropes very effectively, but how long can he keep going in Margarita Page? That's the question. Copy box numbers in round two were spectacular. Cotto 35 out of 80. Margarito 33 out of 96. Now let's see if Cotto can begin to make it more of a boxing match again. There. Margarita reaching with a left and with two body shots of his own. Hard right hand over the top for Margarita. Put over the right and the left inside. Body shot, two uppercuts, chopping right hand. Cotto comes back with a three punch. Defense is very well. He's catching a lot of punches. And still you heard the shots in a sustained way like this. He promised violence. Cotto's superior boxing ability giving him the advantage. But Margarito's very live. And as the fight wears on, he gets busy. This right here is consistent of the pattern of the fight. 
Margarito very aggressive coming in, but Cotto landing the clean precision punches. And averaging jabs per round through the first three rounds, Gordon Coffee Box, Cotto 9 of 26. Margarito not as accurate with it. Two rounds to one. 29, 28, Miguel Cotto. She knows what Miguel Cotto did a nice job of round one. He won that. Margarito typically gets stronger as the fight wears on. Absolutely. That's my biggest concern if I was a coach. A lot of pressure. Man. And Margarita's defense is a lot better than the coach. El Cotto hasn't exactly faded in the late rounds and throwing a lot of punches in different angles. And just the psychological pressure Margarito hey, exerts by the right hand. Margarito is walking through Cotto's best firepower. Yes, he is. Body shots by Antonio. Cotto may regret having stopped in a corner. Now he comes back with a hard right hand and a left hook. And up. Another left hook for Cotto. Down the stretch of round four, it was Miguel Cotto who's... Here you see Margarita's pressures. He's throwing a lot of different punches at Cotto. And the thing about it, his punches come from different angles. He doesn't throw the same punch over and over. But Cotto is such a sharp decision punch. He comes right back and catches him. Copy box count in round four. Had Cotto landing 23 of 67 to 15 of 86 for Margarito. A much higher percentage time jabs. Once again, Cotto starts... The He's a long slow. Margarito able to find Cotto with the right hand there. Now lands a roundhouse right. Oh, look, it's not too wide to catch him, especially with the guitar. And they stand still in trade. Cotto lands more punches. Cotto's frustrated as he looks for opportunities. Very frustrated. And Cotto realizes he's a little fight, but he's got six or seven more rounds of going up his face. If he can do that, he can win the fight. But if he can't hurry, and this is what makes it good. They know what kind of judge y'all. A lot of judges like the guy going forward. Two hard right hands for Margarito. Cotto comes back with the left. Eats another right hand. Ducks three right hands in a row. Go back. 15 to 25 power shot. 56%. 15 to 34 jazz. Overall, 29 to 59. And Cotto drops his hands. He did it at the end of the last round to avoid punches. And you heard Leon Capitillo, Margarito's trainer and father, get in harder and throw more shots. He only threw 105 punches in there. And you're a low go by Margarito and he got away with it. Where he left off at the end of the last round, at least throwing more punches and landing some with force even when they don't land cleanly. Cotto comes back with two. As long as Cotto can show the judges that he lands the cleaner. And one guy is getting all the pressure. And another guy is retreating, as you say, but landing a really clean effect of punches. So this fight will be just getting it. His skill right there, shouldering Margarito up and landing a clean right hand. Picking his spot there and landing a left hook. Margarito firing, firing, firing. Not as accurate. A minute to go in round six. Cotto with another one of his flurries. And another uppercut. Margarito misses with a... For most of his career, Miguel Cotto has used his feet to put pressure on opposing fighters. Tonight he's trying to use his feet to... And now Margarito throws all the shots as Cotto looks for space. You see Margarita putting on a tremendous amount of pressure, but he's paying the price. As he's coming in, applying the pressure, momentum may be going to different Cotto. Our shots in round six, Miguel Cotto 20 out of 44. Antonio Margarito 3. 58, 56, four rounds to two. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto is boxing a beautiful. Antonio Margarito figured the only way to broke down is to win that round. I've got it. I'm going to do Cotto. But Chip Davis has got to let Margarito fight inside. That shot I told you about up to the center, very effective now. Uh, uh, this, this, is the first, game. this is the first video you know, is fighting on even terms with yeah. so, Even if I were being close, I would be close. Cotto's hurt, guys. Cotto's badly hurt by a zero percussion. Cotto is in trouble along the ropes. The biggest trouble he's been in. This
Toro's looking for breathing room, and there is none. He has to fight his way out for breathing room. He gets hit by a hard right hand. Margarito throwing one of the 20 punches in the round. Toro turns southbound. It's part of the song by Antonio Margarito.
Johnny Five, Margarito 22 out of 58. Margarito lands a 15 power shot for the last minute of the round. Harold Letterman gave the round to Margarito, and the fight is even on his scorecard, Las Vegas. And when you look at Cotto's face, he looks like the loser. Oh, and Cotto says he looks like the guy who's taken the beating. As you know, that could be a big factor sometimes, too. Not just the face, but the facial expression he's in the And that knockdown could ultimately be that Margarito has finally gotten his Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by a man. He's exhausted and it's almost over. The punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto is absolutely not Kenny Bale for allowing this to provide. And Evangelista Cotto is going to throw in the towel. And Antonio Margarito has the victory. This is just a case of Miguel Cotto succumbing to the constant pressure. Two uppercuts. Margarito hit while he was down. That's supposed to be a big thing here in Vegas, right? Yeah. Well, right here, the left uppercut is the most effective punch all night for him. And that's a punch that can take the fighters to get all those guys hit with. There's the punch. Now here's the end as Cotto goes down again. Of his own volition. And as Margarito Crumble got up onto the apron and tossed in a towel. Recognizing what everyone else at ringside decides to finish. Now watch Evangelista Cotto on the far side, on the apron on the right, and he waves the towel. 